All eyes are on Mobile World Congress 2018, which is shaping up to be one of the biggest in recent memory, thanks in part to the number of flagships we're expecting to see. We've seen several notable devices unveiled and announced during Mobile's largest trade show. And that's exactly why we're going down memory lane to look back at some of the biggest announcements that happened at Mobile World Congress in the last 10 years. 2017 is still fresh on our minds, and the biggest phone probably that was announced there was the LG G6. It was a radical departure from the LG G5, so it really stood out for that. Samsung usually has a big showing at Mobile World Congress, but last year, they only announced the Galaxy Tab S3. Huawei had a pair of phones, the P10 and the P10 Plus, which were notable for their color choices and their dual camera configurations. And then we had the BlackBerry Key 1, which showed us exactly why physical keyboards aren't dead just yet. In 2016, we were introduced to the LG G5, which brought in a very interesting modular design, but we know how that turned out. And its rival Samsung brought the Galaxy S7 and the S7 Edge, which continued the line's new premium design language that brought back water resistance with its design. For a long time, Samsung was known to use plastic with the design of its phones, but in 2015, they made a radical change with the Galaxy S6 and the S6 Edge just because they departed from the format and decided to go with a more premium looking design. Besides that, the only other notable device to be announced at MWC 2015 was the HTC One M9. Samsung was on its more is better approach when it introduced the Galaxy S5 in 2014, just because it brought a lot of features along with the water resistant construction. And there was also the Sony Xperia Z2. It wasn't necessarily a revolutionary device, but still managed to attract a lot of attention during its announcement at MWC 2014. It's hard to remember how LG's flagship line got started, but back in 2013 at MWC, the company announced the LG G Pro, which ended up spawning its popular flagship G line. We also had a pair of Android powered tablets, which were all the rage back then. We had the Samsung Galaxy Note 8.0, not the 8 that we know it now, but the tablet and we also had the Sony Xperia Tablet Z. When it comes to camera phones, no other handset stands out other than the Nokia 808 Peer Review, which made its official debut at MWC 2012 and really impressed a lot of people with its 41 megapixel camera. Prior to its signature metal phones, HTC managed to make plastic thing with its HTC One X handset, which featured a polycarbonate frame. We had a few major announcements at MWC 2011, but the biggest one was the Samsung Galaxy S2, which was the successor to its very first flagship from the prior year before. And while 3D displays are long gone now, it was back in 2011 that we saw the arrival of the LG Optimus 3D with its 3D display, and you didn't need glasses for it. And does anyone still remember the Sony PlayStation phone? It actually made its debut back at MWC 2011 with the Sony Xperia Play. In 2010, we saw the dominance of HTC in the Android landscape just because they brought its metal-bodied HTC Legend with its all-metal construction and that distinguishable chin. They didn't stop there because they also announced the HTC Desire and the Windows Mobile-powered HTC HD Mini. And 2010 was also the year that we were introduced to Samsung's Bada OS with the Samsung Wave. 2009 was the last big push from Microsoft's Windows Mobile platform because we saw a pair of devices, the HTC Touch Diamond 2 and the HTC Touch Pro 2 announced during MWC that year. And HTC didn't disappoint on the Android front either because they introduced the HTC Magic, which was its second Android powered smartphone after the T-Mobile G1. We also saw the introduction of the Symbian based Samsung Omnia HD and the translucent LG G900 Crystal at MWC 2009. It's hard to imagine it's been a decade, but back during MWC 2008, the biggest phone that was introduced there was the Nokia N96, which was a follow-up to the N95. We also saw Sony going high-end in the Windows Mobile department because of the introduction of the Sony Xperia X1. And it was also the time we were introduced to the Sony Ericsson W910, which was deemed as the Walkman phone because it really appealed to music enthusiasts. And that's about it. Those are just some of the notable devices that were unveiled or launched at MWC in the last 10 years. So what were some of your favorites? Leave a comment below. And if you guys want to learn more about any of the stuff I talked about in this video, you could check out our website, phonerena.com. This is John B. signing off.